Well, Craig, I typically script these interviews and look on the basis of the game and things like that, but I think it would be fitting tonight to just try and go off the cuff and ask how you're feeling. Um, oh, proud, um, emotional, uh, so many things going through my head. I'm, I'm gutted for the lads. Um, I think they deserved it, if I'm being honest. And I'm always honest when air lads play bad or when we do well. And I thought tonight we were absolutely fantastic. Each man to their own, um, gave us absolutely everything. And that's as management staff and as 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 part of this club, for lads to go out and give absolutely everything. You you can't ask for more than that. And um, I think from the day I've come in here to tonight, the lads have pretty much done that every week for us. Um, and unluck unfortunately tonight we just didn't get our rewards. Um, we had chances, but listen, it's football. It's it's cruel, especially when you come to the places like this. You you got to take your chances. And listen, there's, there's loads for us to learn from this. Um, the fact that we're here is an absolute um, it's an absolute honour and a privilege, as I've said most weeks, to to get a club like ours that no one expects to to a place like this and to put Chorley to the sword as well tonight. I thought it's it's uh, it's tough to take, but I'm a proud and I'm, I'm going to stay positive and these group of lads deserve all the accolades they get. Absolutely, and for, like you said, to come here to be a team that was written off even at the start of the season, there were people predicting 14th, 15th, and you even found out on 17th, this final league positions I saw as well, to come here, take Chorley to 120 minutes and a penalty shootout as well. Despite the, like you say, the result and the way that it's ended, I, I can't imagine the the pride and the excitement even that's, that's brewing within you and the team. Yeah, listen, I, I said to the lads when, when the dust settles and um, and the uh, the pain of the the match goes away, you look back on this season and think, wow, what we've achieved and what we've done has been amazing. Um, it's it's hard it's hard to put in the words how how, um, how tough it is. L lads stepping up to take penalties, regardless if you miss a score, if you have that in you to take the penalty in front of that many fans, you deserve all the credit in the world. And um, they done that. They stepped up, took a penalty, and uh, I can't ask for much more. Listen, the, the Chorley managers come over at the end of the game and said, um, "I think you deserved it tonight." And for him to say something like that to me is, it's um, it, it doesn't help. But it's an it's it's such a nice thing because I've got a lot of respect for Chorley, for Andy Priestley, for Jamie Vermiglo as well. These are these have been around the game a long time, and for them to say things like that about Air Club is uh, is absolutely fantastic. And I wish them all the best in the next round, and I hope they can go on to win it because Chorley is a um, it's a great club, it's a family club like ourselves. Um, no one expects them to be where they are this time of the year as well. So hopefully Chorley go on and do do well over the next couple of games and listen we'll we'll regroup and um, we'll we'll have a look at what we can do better and uh, come next year we'll we'll make sure we come back stronger again. Absolutely and you've managed to do all this as well without even being the manager for the full season. You know, it's what does it feel like obviously initially lick the wounds, deal and process with the result of tonight, but what does it feel like now to then look ahead and say, okay, next season we want to be back here. Well, that's the, that's the challenge for us now, isn't it? We um, we've got a great group of squad, a uh, great group of lads, <clears throat> and um, you, you every time you you you, um, you finish the season, the uh, the next thing you want to do is be better. How can we be better than the last season? And that's what myself and all the lads, the staff will will look at. How can we be better for next season? How can we um, turn up and? outdo what we've done this year because it's going to be tough and um, people are going to expect us to be where we are every year now up, up and amongst the playoffs and listen that's that's the challenge for, for the staff but what we've done this year the stories that we've um, we've embraced the stories that we've created Mark Bradshaw coming back to the club and um, myself stepping in as a first time manager having uh, Jack and his dad witness what Dave, Dave created is is fantastic and listen them fans that came tonight I think there's about 250 of them that that is something that I've never seen before at this club and 
for them to stay with us, to stick by us, to come and support us and be as loud as they were uh, through the game. Um, I owe everything to them because they're the reason why this club is still going. They're the heart and soul of it. Um, and hopefully we've given them something to share about, give something to be proud of. Um, and next year our plan is to, to try go do that again. Well, we certainly hope and we are excited to see what you can conjure and create as well. For the final time from me and for the season as well, Craig Mann, thank you for your time. Always a pleasure. Hey, you've been Best a legend. Luck. Thank you. Best luck in everything you. that you do. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Lads.